now and take a look at weather meteorologist Thomas Patrick standing by right now. Thomas, I know we talked a little bit about the frost that was this morning. We had some fog and now you're saying the rain is coming. Yeah, there's actually a little bit of rain that's been pushing through central Washington tonight. Still keeping tabs on that. So far it's been dry here in Spokane, but the uh, as you're going to see on Doppler radar in a moment could actually reach us by the midnight hour, but mild for midweek. In fact, tomorrow's going to be actually pretty nice November day, but then the rain chances really start in earnest for the region, but we are keeping tabs of a weather system that has just been pushing into Washington throughout the day today. Lots of rain on the western side of the state, but look at how much at least light rain was able to push into central and northern Washington, just starting to get closer towards Spokane County. So I've really been keeping an eye on a lot of the traffic cameras throughout the evening hours tonight. Saw a bit of light rain, especially towards the Cooley City and Grand Cooley areas. This is uh, I-90 Highway 902 on the way to Medical Lake. Still all dry conditions, at least as of this moment, but next hour, might change. We'll be keeping tabs on that. Thursday is going to be our next reasonable chance for rainfall, and it's really going to be scattered for most of the day where you see the orange tiles in the late morning, early afternoon hours. It's probably the most likely time that we do see the rain, and then the wind really starts to come into play during the evening hours as well. So here on Future Tracker, it's actually not showing much rain for tonight or tomorrow morning, but we'll keep a possibility in there, especially for northern Washington. Otherwise, a dry day, definitely for Wednesday. As for Thursday, this is 6 a.m. already starting the day with a decent uh, amount of scattered showers across the region. And once it gets started, we're just going to see numerous scattered showers throughout the daytime hours that you can even see some of the winds uh, plotted on the map there as well. So scattered showers and windy conditions on Thursday. Maybe not the nicest day, but it is a mild weather pattern, so it does stay as all rain, at least uh, with that weather system. Same with the ones after that as well. So there goes Thursdays. Jetstream's just going to help to guide the next weather systems into the Pacific Northwest as well, mainly from the west or southwest. This is really Saturday morning. Another chance for some scattered showers. We're going to get into that pattern where it's like every other day. So Thursday, Saturday morning looks like next Monday has a chance for rain, but all these weather systems are quite mild, so they do stay as all rain for our area valleys. I think our snow levels stay largely above four to six thousand feet for each of those systems. Rainfall between Thursday and through the weekend could be about a half an inch of rain, maybe a little bit more for some of our North Idaho and Northern Washington locations, but just enough to keep the ground wet at least at times. And for tomorrow, I mentioned a pretty nice day overall. There's your high temperature is getting close to 60 degrees. If we do get 60, that will certainly be a treat for November. Other than that, we will be on that downward trend temperature wise through the weekend and into next week. And by the way, this Sunday we fall back. It's the end of daylight saving time. We do gain an hour of sleep, but those sunsets get an extra hour earlier. All right, getting darker earlier and then colder as well. There we go, Thomas. Thank you very much.